Rebecca Lee Crumpler credited her dedication to medicine to her aunt, a woman who tended to all her sick neighbors and raised Rebecca. Crumpler originally served as a nurse before being admitted to the New England Female College of Medicine. She graduated in 1864, becoming the first black woman to obtain a medical degree in the entire country. When the Civil War ended just a year later, she left Boston for Richmond, Virginia, to tend to the newly freed, formerly enslaved African Americans, whose health otherwise went untreated. She capped a storied career with the publication of Book of Medical Discourses, one of the first medical publications by a black scientist. Nettie Stevens started her career as a math and science teacher, but that wasn't enough. She wanted to learn even more. So she returned to school and finished a four-year program in two years before moving on to advanced studies, ultimately earning a PhD in cytology. Her research focused on genetics. Specifically, she wanted to know what made biological sex. Was it environment, as many scientists believed at the time? In studying genes, Stevens discovered that male mealworms produced two different sex chromosomes, and those chromosomes created different offspring. She is one of the first pioneers of early genetic understanding and provided the first proof that biological sex is a result of nature, not nurture. Even as a student, Chan Chung Wu was a trailblazer. Accepted to the University of Michigan for doctoral study in physics, she ultimately declined to enroll because the university did not allow its women students to enter through the front door. The woman known as the First Lady of Physics began her career working on the Manhattan Project with the federal government. She was the first female physics instructor hired by Princeton University, and her discoveries led the field of physics for decades. She won the inaugural Wolf Prize for Physics, and her work inspired the Nobel Prize for other scientists. Marie Van Britten Brown had a problem. She worked long hours and wasn't always home in the evenings. She worried that made their home vulnerable to break-ins, so she did something about it. The nurse by trade exercised her engineering muscles as she, with the help of her husband, created the first home security system using sliding cameras, microphones, and television monitors. Her pioneering use of technology became the standard for closed circuit television security cameras that emerged. Her unique invention received a patent in 1969 and her invention inspired today's modern security systems. Ellen Ochoa made history when she blasted off the planet in 1993 aboard the space shuttle Discovery. She wasn't just one of the very few people who have ever traveled outside the atmosphere, she was also the first Latina to go to space. Ochoa became an astronaut in 1991 and logged more than 1,000 hours in space as part of four missions. She went on at NASA to become the first Hispanic woman and only the second woman ever to lead the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas.